Hi, I'm John Kimbrough, one of the librarians at Georgetown University Library, and I'm going to demonstrate ProxyGU. You want to begin on the library's off-campus research guide, guides.library.georgetown.edu slash off-campus slash ProxyGU. If you're watching this video, you're probably already there. Right below the embedded video is a blue button that says ProxyGU. To install, simply click, hold, drag, and drop this button onto your bookmarks bar. If clicking and dragging doesn't work, you can also use the mobile installation procedure listed below. Although you'll probably need to use this mostly on phones and other mobile devices, there are certain desktop browsers where you may want to follow this mobile installation procedure as well. I'll be using Mozilla Firefox just for demonstration purposes. First, start by creating a new bookmark. It doesn't really matter what page you're bookmarking, as we'll be changing this information almost immediately. I like to edit the name and choose ProxyGU. I also like to make sure that I'm putting the bookmark onto my toolbar rather than to into some other folder. Now I'm going to click Done and go back to the off-campus research guide, where I'm going to copy all this JavaScript code that's listed in pink. I'm trying to make sure that I get all of the code, even that last semicolon, is important. Now I'm going to go back to the bookmark that I just created and edit the properties. Take whatever's in the location field or the URL field and get rid of it and paste or replace with the JavaScript code that you just copied. Save the bookmark and we're ready to go. Now that we've got ProxyGU installed, Let's see it in action. First, navigate to a journal or website where you know the library has a subscription, maybe because you've accessed it from before from on campus. I'm going to go to Physical Review B. Once I'm on the journal website, I'm going to choose Recent Articles, and just for demonstration purposes, let's go to the second article in the list. If I click the PDF link, you'll notice that I'm hitting what I call a paywall. That is, I'm being asked to either buy the article or log in somehow in order to see the full text. Here I can click my ProxyGU button. The request and the page are routed through the library's proxy server, and because the library has a subscription, I'm able to see the full text of this article. A reminder that ProxyGU only works if the library has a subscription. If I try and use ProxyGU on a website where the library doesn't subscribe, I'll get an error like this one. The library doesn't subscribe to this particular journal or this particular journal at this particular website, so ProxyGU doesn't know about it. If I go to another journal where the library has a subscription, like the Chronicle of Higher Education, I can use ProxyGU here as well. I'll pick another sample article. You'll see that I'll hit the paywall here in just a moment once it comes up. There it is. And now I can click the ProxyGU button and read the full text. I hope you've enjoyed this brief introduction to ProxyGU. If you have any questions or want to know more, feel free to look in the research guide or email us at eresources at georgetown.edu. Thank you for watching and good luck with your research.